We needed to have closed decisively over 22,000 and the Nifty has managed to do that. Uh, Friday has brought some relief to markets that have been choppy all week long. So the Nifty closing about half a percent up, the Sensex also up in the green. I'm just going to quickly pull up how the mid cap and small cap fared in Friday trade. Better than expected and pretty decent, almost 1% up on the mid cap and the small cap index. But we should look at this entire week in perspective because it's definitely been a choppy one with a very tough Thursday coming in and over the week the nifty has been down about three percent some relief here we started off strong but we're down about three percent through the week I just want to pull up the mid cap and small cap indices as well the bank index the nifty bank is what hurt the most and remember this is a week where you had big numbers coming in from the public sector bank side so an SBI PNB Bank of Baroda etc the mid cap 150 also down about three and a half percent so some ways to go uh, in terms of a recovery but safe to say that at least today was a good day let's pull up the heat map for uh, Friday's trade and give you a sense of what has worked and what has not it was all about BPCL so um, a note out today a Morgan Stanley note out today talking about the oil and gas sector which was very positive that's aided BPCL the fact that there's a bonus uh, share issue has not hurt either but uh, you can see dominating the top line of uh, the greens uh, public sector companies so with a power grid, etc., NTPC as well, at least the top three. Hero Moto continues to be, uh, um, you know, a run-up and uh, keeping that auto pack up strong. Tata Motors one to watch out for even for Monday straight because results will be out post-close on Friday. Tata Motors was up in trade on the losing side. Sipla is what is hurting. TCS, of course, top loser, but the entire IT pack has been weak. If you look at it, Wipro, Infosys, LTI, Mindtree, TCS, all dominating the bottom line. Tech Mahindra as well. But Sipla, because of numbers and a disappointment in margins, has taken a bit of a knock, about a percent and a half down, better than what its lowest point was of the day, but that definitely is hurting. In terms of sectors, it was the IT sector hurting the most today. So what were the winners? Uh, the winners, apart from energy and metal, in specific stocks I would say are Hindustan Zinc. Hindustan Zinc having a stellar day uh, today in trade. A Polycap doing very well. A Dr. Uh, Lal Path also doing very well. This is all on the back of numbers. So these were some of the stocks uh, which were doing well. I just want to pull up a Hindustan Zinc because that was truly an outlier in the way uh, it has performed 16% up at close on a Hind Zinc. So completely on a roll over there towards the end. On the downside in terms of numbers, just one last one I'll pull up before I close, Bank of Baroda. Uh, so numbers came in towards the close of market, uh, was not very well appreciated by the street. That stock closing 3% down. All in all, an interesting week to look forward to. Sandwich between two election polls. Uh, phase four uh, takes place on Monday and then phase five on the next Saturday. So look out for a lot of action next week as well.